How hard it is to build a server architecture? Will it require buying hardware, doing physical work with servers and spending hours and hours on configuration? Or will it take approximately 5 minutes with one command execution? Welcome to my AWS and c -sharp tutorial. I'm very glad that you are here and I can guarantee you that during this course we're gonna have a lot of fun while learning tons of useful material. When you finish the beginner part of this tutorial, you will be capable of creating complete serverless web application hosted on AWS. I know that I already introduced some probably new words. So let me explain. AWS is a cloud platform created by Amazon. It consists of many, many different services used for special purposes. We're gonna use some of them in order to create serverless application. That is an application which is running without a server. Or in other words, application which is alive only when we want it to be alive. When request gets executed or app will wake up, execute the code that needs to be executed and then wait for next request. It means that we only gonna pay for the duration of code execution. That's really cool, right? For smaller apps, it means that the cost will be seriously small. For the purpose of this tutorial, we'll create a separate microservice. Microservice is a standalone application which is often created instead of a monolith application. It is like a building block of the whole infrastructure. It is connected with other microservices to provide whole big application functionality. It is easier to manage and that's mainly because it is smaller than monolith app. Our microservice will be called Inventory Manager. Let's assume that we are creating software for a big product company and one part of it is managing inventory. Here AWS will be a great choice. Let me show you the whole infrastructure of Inventory Manager microservice to give you overview of our goal. Here are two lambdas, it will be the entry point of our app and on the second template, you can see database. Besides these two main components, here are network services and configuration services, which allows us to run securely our app. I don't want to go more into details right now, because I will explain every single service briefly in next videos. But what is really important and what you need to know is that it will be created with the usage of CloudFormation. CloudFormation is a service on AWS which allows us to prepare a template of our infrastructure. It is called Infrastructure as a Code. This template can be written as a JSON or a YAML file. We're gonna use JSON because Visual Studio have better support for it. So when we'll finish creating this JSON template, we can execute one command from command line to create whole infrastructure on AWS. And it can be reproducible for different environments like dev or production with only small changes. It gives us huge advantage related to traditional servers because no more work is needed to operate at scale. We're gonna create this application using c -sharp and Visual Studio, so you have to be on at least intermediate to advanced level of c -sharp knowledge to get most of this tutorial. You don't need to know anything about AWS to start. I will explain every single concept during this course. That's it for now. We're gonna see in next videos where a lot more coding will happen. Make sure to click subscribe button to don't miss any incoming videos.